here with J.D. Downs uh, outside of Frederick, Colorado. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, while we were doing our shooting for a living, uh, J.D., uh, you and uh, one of the trainers that you work with mm -hmm. quite a bit uh, had kind of an interesting uh, uh, discussion with me about how you've kind of worked together on a lot of problems. Maybe you could uh, expand on that a little bit. Yeah, we, um, like I said, I'm a I'm very, very fortunate young shooter. Um, not been at it very long. And, uh, but I've had a lot of experience thanks to Neil Miller, Steve Malini, and Jacob Manning and guys like that, that and uh, you know that have mentored me and we work together as a team to try to figure out horses. So um, Gabe Garrison is a trainer, he's a reining trainer that I uh, got to meet when I first started chewing reiners with Neil. And uh, he just recently, a few years ago, went out on his own after working with uh, uh, Schwarzenberger Equine. And, uh, now he has his own business, like myself, um, out on my own most of the time, and um, so he kind of hired me on as a you know a young shooter and a young trainer, and we can kind of take what we've learned from Schwarzenberger's who've been at it, the Neil Millers that have been at it for so long, and try some new things and try some things that they might ne not necessarily try, and uh, you know do some things that uh, um, that are really helping our horses out. And uh, yeah, Gabe talked about that this last year we've really dealt with fewer and fewer suspensory issues you know with having horses um, that do reining kind of the typical thing is that we really need to stand them up and keep that break over back and that uh, puts a lot of puts a lot of suspensory pressure on and um, you know keeping them upright all the time tends to strain those things and so Gabe and I work together and working on some different shoes for Grand Circuit on our front ends and trying even some different sliders that we forged out, some quote-unquote sideweight sliders, um, to help some horses that were splattering and, um, you know, alleviating some of those stifle strains and problems. And um, it was, I, I think the biggest lesson is to really be able to communicate. They're on the horses all the time. The trainers are riding them all the time. Um, they're the ones that can best tell you when you show up to a stop, how's the horse going? You don't just ask how they're going, but how are they moving? You know, are they moving choppy? Are they are they really extending in the front end? Um, is it a you know even a rough horse to ride? Maybe we need to um, shoe with a little more length in our hind end and uh, you know support that horse. We can uh, really really change a lot of how a horse moves. You know, we're taking the gated stuff and how we can affect movement at the gated level and adapting it to our small-footed horses or short-footed horses, and it, it really makes a big difference.